Some of you may recognize that as the tune to Gather the Spirit, a hymn that celebrates gathering in peace, gathering in thanks, gathering in sympathy, hope, compassion, strength, gathering to celebrate. That's a great list, but I think it's also okay to gather for fun. <laughs> and so we light our chalice this morning for all all these things, including fun. As you may get the sense, this service is going to be a little different than usual. We'll give you the details later, but today is Choose Your Own Adventure Sunday, which means that we will gather here together and online together in this main room for just about 12 to 15 minutes, do a mini worship, and then we will go our separate ways as a congregation to choose our own adventures together, multi-generationally, multi-platform E this morning. So welcome, let us worship together. Please join in singing our opening hymn. Good morning, everyone. I'm Reverend Louise, pronouns she, her, and it's good to see you all on this day of creative chaos and choose your own adventure, moving into all the spaces. Our coffee hour after service is going to be in Pierce Hall out the doors to your right, and we will celebrate Rose Eaton, who has concluded 10 years at All Souls. So please come wish her well. The Reed Project Voting Rights Table will be in the lobby to your left, and we'll have postcards for Get Out the Vote to Georgia. You can also get more information about the regional UU Voter Organizing School that's happening here on April 27th. So find out more and take collective action. I have an update on the Hope Rises Capital Campaign. We just passed $4 million in pledges. And we are almost 
to our goal for next year's budget as well. So thank you to everyone who's made your three-year pledge of support. Hope is rising. And if you have not yet made your pledges, the 40% remains, and both your annual pledge and your pledge to the capital campaign. Now is the time. The Board of Trustees will be making decisions soon about plans and budgets for next year at their meeting on April 24th. So talk with your steward or think about your hopes for all souls and fill out the pledge card that many of you received in the mail or just go to the website and fill out a pledge card there. Please, please get your pledges in so that decision making this year can reflect the hope that is rising here at All Souls. Our next new member class is this Wednesday evening, April 10th and you can still register. It's online for Wednesday and the following Sunday in person with lunch. You can find that registration link in the Friday newsletter or on the website calendar. Donna Olson, our membership secretary, and I both look forward to meeting you and inviting you to join All Souls if the time is right for you. And moving now to our time of congregational care, if there are people, situations on your heart and mind, you may name them aloud into this space or in the chat on Zoom. It's our time for shared prayer and meditation. We send healing prayers to Meredith Higgins Hargrave. She's been in Holy Cross Hospital all week for some gallbladder surgery and heart monitoring. She's doing much better today, and we hope that she might be discharged this week to rehab. So we're sending our love and care to Meredith. Warm condolences also to Emily Kirchlin, whose brother John died in home hospice care on Monday. She will be traveling to Massachusetts for the memorial this week, and we're sending love and blessings to Emily and the whole family in this loss. And now for our time of blessing, because we have all ages in the house, we're gonna do an Easter reprise and see if I can do it the right way this time. <laughs> We're going to give it a try. So if you would like to rise as you're willing and able, you have a little more uh, room for your arms. And you repeat after me just the words. We are blessed. We are blessed. We are blessed by being. We are blessed by being. We are blessed by being here. We are blessed by being here. We are blessed by being here together. And then after me, we are blessed. We are blessed. We are blessed by being. Repeat after I finish. We are blessed by being here. After I finish, yes. We are blessed by being here. And then you hold hands or thumbs up together. Okay. We're going to get it, y'all. Here we go. We are blessed. We are blessed by being. We are blessed by being here. We are blessed by being here together. One more time. We are blessed. We are blessed by being. We are blessed by being here. We are blessed by being here together. Yay. Now I invite you to a moment of silence <laughs> to com contemplate the humble limitations of the body. And we join as we get ready for Spirit of Life.
All right, good morning. My name is Laura Prophet, and I'm the Director of Religious Education here at All Souls. And I see some of my friends who have participated in Choose Your Own Adventure before. If you've done Choose Your Own Adventure before, can you raise your hand? So there's lots of experienced people here. Um, and I wanted to tell you a little bit about it and why we do it. Choose Your Own Adventure is where we set out different um, activities and different spaces that kids can choose what they want to do. So we have the gym because everybody loves the gym. And we have arts and crafts. And we have a uh, building, so we get out all of the building materials. And we have a games room. And these choices not only let children feel like they have a sense of control about what they're doing at church, but they also give a great opportunity to build community. Um, playing games together anywhere, doing art, chatting. Those are all ways we build community. So that's what you're going to do today. You might meet some new people. You might go play Foursquare. Um, either one is fun. But the thing you want to think about is if you enjoy it and, and you have a fun time, realize you could do this every month if you volunteered as a facilitator. <laughs> So I will be around if you have any questions. Thank you, Laura. So uh, the idea for this, doing it with the whole congregation, has probably existed before here, but it came about when I was in line with a parent at the supermarket. And I honestly don't remember exactly who it was. It was someone I hadn't met before. Are you here? It's like we're in that line. We're in the like line of giant. <laughs> Um, and we were talking about how much our kids love Choose Your Own Adventure. And one of us, I actually don't remember who, was like, we should do that for the whole congregation. And I was like, yeah, we should. No, we actually should. And when I brought it to my staff colleagues, everyone was enthusiastically supportive. And it works well that the theme of our month for April is curiosity. And so what a better time to try something a little different and Folks, if you think about what religious education sort of used to be in history, choose your own adventure is the exact opposite of what it was, <laughs> right? And so this is not just sort of a fun thing we're doing, it is a radical embodiment of our theological practice and choosing something different. And it is not lost on Rose Eaton who really had a tough decision about whether to leave or not. But if you know her at all, you know that working at the National Gallery of Art as volunteer coordinator is her dream job, and she will be exceptional at it. And, yes. And she pointed out that this is meaningful for her, that last month's theme was fearlessness, which helped her choose her own adventure <laughs> and decide to leave. And so uh, this, this day, this theme is important for her. And so we're gonna do an offering and a closing hymn. Our closing hymn and offering sort of is our benediction. It's I'm on my way, which is good. And then you can choose which of the adventures you wanna go to. Um, fifth grade and up, you are welcome to choose your own adventure on your own. I think if you're under fifth grade, we would like you to have a parent or guardian, but that, that can be someone that you parents sort of designate in the room as a trusted person. It does not have to be you. You just need to make sure that your child or children get to a place and are grounded there. Um, and we'll have 50 minutes to do this. There are two options for folks online. I'm sorry to say that we could not figure out the zooming for Rose's meditative coloring. Um, we, did, we did our best on that, and it's just not possible given how many other things are in play. But folks are welcome to stay in this main Zoom for a sing-along with Keith, or join the Zoom-only theological conversation with Reverend Bill. All others, pick where you want to go. Most of them are drop in and out. There's just a few that you are free to leave. <laughs> Choose your own adventure is not a prison. Um, but... There are some that we ask you not to rejoin because the session kind of builds on itself, okay? That makes sense? So thank you all for being part of this maybe first, 
Maybe not Choose Your Own Adventure Sunday. It's an adventure for the staff as well. Um, and let's see how it goes. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Rob and Laura. All right, just a few more things. Each week we ask you to consider the spiritual practice of generosity. And so many of you do. Thank you for your giving. Our offering goes to this community and beyond, to groups which share our UU values. The April Share the Plate recipient is the Unitarian Universalist Service Committee, or UUSC. UUSC focuses its work on the intersecting roots of injustice. They defend rights at risk due to systemic oppression of people based on identities. They support people displaced due to climate conflict or economic hardship. And they respond to humanitarian crises by partnering with those whose access to aid is most limited. If you're in the sanctuary, the ushers will be passing the plate for our offering. You can also text to all souls by sending ASCU to 73256. And if you're on Zoom, click the link in the chat and that will direct you to all souls online giving. Thank you in advance for this practice of giving and generosity. During our offering, you're invited to sing along to one, number 116, I'm On My Way. I'm on my way. my friend, come and go with me, I ask my 
friend, come and go with me. I ask my friend.